I've been told to let things out. It's not good to stuff things such as feelings and anger. What's the difference between stuffing things and not expressing negative emotions? First of all, we're dealing with two systems here. This work never told you to let things out, that it's not good to stuff things. This is something you found in life. This is something that somebody in life told you. This work never says that. What we're doing now is we're trying to overlay our understanding of life on this work. This is an authority problem. And the problem with us is one big problem for all of us. We have an authority problem. And that is, who is going to be the authority in your life? Well, we are. I'm going to be the authority. I am the highest authority in my life. That is, that is the condition in which we find ourselves. I am the authority in my life. Our lives look like crap, but that doesn't matter. That's somebody else's fault. That's not because of the authority. That's because of the peons who won't obey the authority. That's the problem with life. The peons who do not obey authority, those are the people who need to change. The authority is just fine. I'm just fine. You need to change. The problem we have is that. I've been told to let things out. It's not good to stuff things such as feelings and anger. Well, who says? Who says it's not good? Well, they say it causes stress. Really? And they know it causes stress. Yeah, well, yeah, they, yes, they know it causes stress. They've been able to measure it with their machines. I see. So now that they know what causes stress, now they know what releases stress. So here's your choice. You can murder or have some stress. What are you going to do? Well, now I've got some stress trying to make a decision about that. Uh, some people need to be murdered. You see how we start to get, we start to rationalize all of this stuff right away. But some people deserve to be murdered. Some people should die. Well, wait a second. Slow down. Hold on. The work doesn't really tell you to stuff things. The work tells you not to express negative emotions as a step, as an exercise. That's all. It says that you are bleeding profusely. And the work says you need a tourniquet if you're going to live. You need to stop that bleeding. Now we all know, well maybe we don't all know, but the nurses in here know that if you leave a tourniquet on, then whatever you have it on, that has to go, that you're, you're basically amputating it. You can't leave it on. You only put it on long enough to get the kind of assistance, the kind of help that you need to get so that it's, it's a temporary measure. And so not expressing negative emotions is a temporary measure. It's a tourniquet. It's not something that you do forever. You don't wrap this thing around your neck and then strangle yourself so that you don't express negative emotions. That's not the idea. But you see, we're so formatory, we can only think in these either or terms. We can't see the, 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 the shades of gray in between. We can't see the vast expanse of middle ground where we don't live. We live at this extreme or at this extreme. Either I'm going to let it all out and I'm going to say whatever I feel like saying. I'm going to tell people the way it actually is and, and that's the way it is. And if they don't like it, well, then they can just go to hell. Well, we can either do that or we can stuff it. You know, just sit here and stew and steam and boil and, 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 and get all uptight and contracted because we want to tell them how it really is, but we're not expressing negative emotions. You know, that's, that's not it. You know, that's not the concept. But see, we look at it in this formatory way, like either or, but it's not either or. It's look back off, tie a tourniquet, slow down on the expression of negative emotions. Just slow down on the expression of negative emotions. Take the negative emotions that you know absolutely, positively, beyond the shadow of a doubt, are harmful to you and everybody around you. Stop expressing them. That's all. Nobody's asking you to stop expressing all of your negative emotions. You can't do that anyway. But just take a couple of big ones and trim them back some. Count to ten. Take a deep breath. Slow down. Think about it. Will I really want to say the same thing if I'm not feeling as angry as I'm feeling right now? Well, this is just logic and good sense. But see, we can't think like that because we're formatory. We think either or. We want to fight with everything. We want to see either this side or that side, but we don't want to see the middle ground. But there is middle ground in all of this. The work and life can work together very well, but we can't because of the way we think. So the problem isn't stuffing things or not expressing negative emotions. The problem is addressing negative emotions and stopping our justification 
of our negative states because that's what it is. The problem is not you expressing negative emotions. You can express negative emotions. I don't care. The problem is the negative state from which they come. That's the problem. When you are in that negative state, do you really want to be expressing yourself? Well, then trim that back a bit and try and take the energy that you would be using in expressing the negative emotions. Take that energy and try and use it to get into a better state. That is really the heart of what the work is teaching.